Good morning, sixth grade. I'm sorry I couldn't be here with you today. Um, we have a guest teacher, but today is going to be pretty easy. A lot of us are going to be wrapping up our clay project, and then I'm also going to explain what comes after that clay project. So please remember to wear your mask while you're in this room. And a couple things. Uh, thing number one, our guest teacher has all of the classroom expectations that we did together last week, so she can refer to these if she needs them during class. That way she knows that you know exactly how to behave in here. Also, if you're glazing anything today, anything that you glaze, you need to remember that stuff on the whiteboard that says anyone glazing. So if you're done with your mask, all the way done, you can take it home with you today. If it needs to be glazed and the firing needs to stay on the 6L shelf. After you're all the way done with your mask, or even if you've already taken it home, you do need to complete one of these reflection and grading sheets. You're grading your partner honestly. So tell me exactly what I need to know in terms of how they helped you and how they didn't. Number four is especially important because I'm going to be taking your ideas into consideration as we work into our next project. These stay here and they are going to be part of your grade. So once you're done with those things, Doodle for Google is something that the Google search company does every year for kids. And we're going to do kind of our own modified version this year and you're going to participate as a sixth grade group in Prairie Wind's own Doodle for Google. So you're going to use one of these copies and you're going to design your own logo. I've got several of them up there on the smart board for you. This is the one that we're going to use for our school. It's not going to be entered in any national competition. If you are interested in participating nationally, you're going to work on one of these papers. This is the official entry form for those of you who choose to participate nationally. You don't have to participate nationally, but you have to use this logo on this paper. If you choose to compete, you and I will talk when I come back so you know all the rules and regulations. I'll tell you just a couple big ones right now. If you're going to compete nationally, it's going to be 6th graders competing with 7th graders across the country. You can't use any copyrighted imagery. So that means no logos, no sports logos, no Under Armour logos, no Nike logos, nothing like that. It has to be all your original design. Some of the big points to think about though, for those of you who are gonna to choose to compete nationally, is that you're gonna be evaluated by judges based on your creativity and how well you work the Google logo in with your own unique original design, kind of like those ones on the board. So think about that. You have two choices. You can choose to work on this one, which is the one we're just going to keep in school. This one will not be entered, or you can choose to use this one. Anybody who wants to compete needs to use this form. That was a lot of stuff, so I hope you remember it. Lastly, all the sketches that you made way back when for your sketch on your mask design can go home with you today. In reality, the only thing that's going to stay in this classroom when you leave are your partner grading sheets and your doodle for Google Sheets. We'll work on these and then after that we will move into whatever you guys and girls choose as kind of a majority and what you answered on that fourth question down there. So that's it for today. Please remind yourselves to be safe, be respectful, be responsible. I do expect everybody to have an exceptional sub note when I come back to school tomorrow. Enjoy yourselves. Sorry I couldn't be here with you today but I will see you again next time.